In this uh, module, we will try to get an understanding of the uh, physical mechanisms involved in uh, freezing. Uh, we will also see how the presence of solutes uh, in water lower the uh, freezing point. We can uh, look at freezing simply as a conversion of water into ice. It is a change of phase from liquid to solid that is accompanied with a drop in temperature to sub-freezing levels. However, this is uh, an extremely simplistic view uh, because, as you know, in reality, the freezing process is much more complicated. There are indeed uh, various manifestations of the uh, freezing process and uh, they include uh, creation and uh, growth of uh, ice crystals, a uh, gradual reduction in the amount of liquid water, and the influence of uh, solutes and ice on uh, food properties. Now these factors have a profound influence on the quality of frozen foods. Now we know that uh, low temperature increases the stability of frozen foods and also the reduced amount of liquid water uh, that is because the water is turning into ice that also enhances the stability of frozen foods. But physical and uh, chemical alterations that take place during the freezing process also cause changes that impair the desirable quality attributes. So it is important that we develop a uh, basic understanding of the different mechanisms that are involved in freezing, such as the crystallization process that results in the formation of ice crystals. But before we look at that, let's uh, uh, briefly discuss the freezing point of water. Now we know that from elementary physics that zero degrees Celsius is the freezing point of water. Now what is often overlooked is the fact that zero degrees C is also the melting point of ice. In fact, zero degrees Celsius is the equilibrium temperature where ice and water coexist. So let's uh, look at this animation. Uh, we are looking at a sample with water and ice mixed in equal proportion. The temperature of the mixture is constant at zero degrees Celsius. At the interface of water and ice, there is a continuous exchange of molecules between ice and water. Some molecules from water move onto the ice surface and become attached to the ice and that is what we call freezing while some of the molecules in ice move into the liquid water and that constitutes melting. The rate of this opposing movement of molecules depends upon temperature, uh, pressure and the geometrical shape of the water ice interface. Now pressure has only a minor influence on the freezing point. So raising the pressure by one additional atmosphere, that is a 101.3 kilopascals, lowers the freezing point by only 0 0.0072 degrees Celsius. So it has a very minor influence. Now let's look at the freezing point of a binary mixture. Again, let's consider the mixture of ice and water. If we add a solute such as salt to the ice and water mixture, then salt will dissolve in the water. But the solubility of salt in ice is very low. This will slow down the freezing part of the molecular exchange because fewer water molecules will now have an opportunity to migrate into ice because some of the space next to the ice water interface will be occupied by the solute. Thus the 
previously established equilibrium will be disturbed and melting will be favored as more molecules from ice will have an opportunity to wander into water. As a consequence, the temperature at which the melting and freezing process will balance will be lowered. So as you know, by adding salt to water, you lower the uh, freezing point. Now when we look at freezing point of a food, we need to appreciate that foods are a complex mixture of water and various soluble and insoluble components. And all these components, just like we saw what happened when we added salt to water, all these components depress the freezing point of the food. Typically, the range of freezing points of foods is between minus 1 to minus 5 degrees Celsius, as we see in this table. Uh, for example, for fruits, uh, between uh, minus 0 0.9 to minus 2.7. Uh, it's similar in case of vegetables. Uh, milks and eggs, about minus 0 0.5 degrees Celsius for the freezing point. And uh, for meats, uh, uh, anywhere from minus 1.7 to minus 2.2 .2 degrees Celsius. So I hope this has given you an understanding of the freezing point of water and how that freezing point is lowered when a solute is added.